hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos Hunter? That yes. didn't take long. Hear, hear. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Ismir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that we would sit down with that. Thou more bitch. I say she walks, or we walk. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. But Legget, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? One moment. Here we go. I just want to make clear that the only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. I have no authority to negotiate a permanent settlement, unless Ulfric is ready to sue for peace and turn himself over to Imperial Justice. Master Angir, We're are you here going to, to just let him continue to... Truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. We consider even sitting down to talk with these rebels more than generous. Enough posturing, Tullius. If you came to talk, let's get on with it. Fine. Let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? General Tullius. Jarl Ulfric. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. And do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Our terms are simple. Riften must be returned to Imperial control. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. Elisif, are you really going to be a party to this foolishness? Do you really think Ulfric will just turn Riften over because some Imperial General barked an order? That's quite an opening demand, Tullius. Ulfric, you can't be taking this demand seriously. We can hold Riften against anything the Empire can throw at it. Besides, Jarl Layla will never agree to... Whatever I decide is in the best interests of Skyrim. Are we clear? Yes. My lord. Come on, Tullius. You can't seriously expect us to just hand over Riften at the negotiating table. You haven't been able to take it back yet. Why should we give it up now? I am sure General Tullius does not expect something for nothing. Of course not. What will you offer for Riften, Tullius? Some empty promises? Maybe some more Imperial bluster? Enough, Galmar. Jarl Ulfric, what would you want in return? First, let me be clear. The Sons of Skyrim know from bitter experience that talking to the Empire is a waste of time. Or worse, Imperial promises are simply a way to lull you while they prepare a dagger for your back. Aye, we haven't forgotten Markarth Tullius. But I accept the Dragonborn's invitation to this council. And I at least will negotiate in good faith. The council was your idea, huh? So tell us, what do you think Riften is worth? Yes, 
With Mark Garth in our hands, we'll be able to raid the Imperial supply lines out of solitude. You've heard the man, Talius. We've made you a fair offer. If you're really serious about this truce, you need to reconsider. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation to this council, despite your known association with the rebels. But it seems you have no intention of dealing fairly with me. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. You have no intention of coming to terms. You're here to blacken the Empire's name, and I won't be party to it. If you think you can hold Riften, you're as deluded as you've always been. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty, and I would be recalled. Sores bones! Where will these demands end? Out with it, then. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies! My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for this your butchery at... Obvious. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Well said. You may be fighting on the wrong side in this war. For once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Riften will be handed over to Imperial control, Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Empire will withdraw its troops from the Reach, allowing Ulfric's forces unhindered access to Makar. Jarl Igmund will go into exile, with Thongvor Silverblood taking his place as Jarl of Maka. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Cartwaystal. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Now that the Empire has been driven from the Reach, we can put a stop to the raping of her silver mines. That silver belongs in Skyrim. Leg it with me. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Riften 
is a heavy price to pay for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Vignar, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn. I'm afraid plan. there's a problem, a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's the blade. Justice demands that he die for his. And I'm cross referencing this by calling the dragon with. He's not compared. You. I think it's very likely. Ah, indeed. Oh, yes, I'm ready to do my Winged part. snow. Just hunter, say the word. Read it, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains. Do the How right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. Reach at all. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed... We can't afford to give Parthenax the... If they had their... The Grey... Think about it. No. Trust me. There is no need to be afraid. Think right, of Tiber Carlos, Septim. that's an excellent Do you think he has I hope you him? haven't forgotten that little detail. Ah, I believe I can be of help here. Odaving will come to your challenge. Bozik, Krilot, he will not be able to resist your call. Speak. The blades are wise not to trust me. Onikan Niov, I would not trust another Dova. Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Onikan Niov. I have no de- What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? <laughs> 